Archie made a big difference in your life, and you say you're trying to bring that to life for others, uh, basically because the comics, a lot of kids, maybe they're not really interested in reading some of the books that are out there, or uh, so may, reading a comic might be more fun and maybe make them more inclined to read. So that's part of your mission now, isn't it? Exactly. I say that um, comic books can be the spark to one's first reading experience, but more so to um, engage them in the love of reading. So the comic books now in your life helped you enjoy that, and, and now as we look at the stories as they brought Archie into the current day, you're taking some of the messages that were always in those comics now and helping people learn as they read comics, get, giving some of those life messages to, to, ch to kids as well. Absolutely, but I am taking, you know, issues that are very relevant today. We have a big issue with, um, you know, plastic. Mm -hmm. So I aligned ourselves with a wonderful foundation called um, Plastic Coalition where I intertwine that story and the message about refusing plastic in this wonderful uh, um, Archie Digest. And our writers are so talented that they just can take important messages mm -hmm. that are learning messages, but the children can get a chuckle, they <laughs> can you know, enjoy uh, the, the message, not really looking at it as a life, you know, as a, a, a teaching, uh, right. program. They just think they're having fun reading about a story. Right, right. And I say reading um, Archie for 30 minutes is a good thing. I call it Archie therapy. Why is that? What is it about these characters that have endured the test of time when it comes to comics? Well, it, they emulate, you know, the the relationships that we all go through globally. They are very connected to us. And w when we read about it, we can chuckle. Uh, there was um, a great story in here. This book was put out with um, everyone at Archie involved picking their favorite stories. And mm -hmm. I chose one that was, again, a learning experience. It talks about the great San Francisco earthquake, but in oh, a yeah. funny way. Archie sees a broken clock in the mansion. And what does he want to do but fix it? So, you know, as the story goes on, you know Archie's never going to fix it, but you'll have to read that story. Yeah. And, and the uh, whole mansion, you know, explodes when Mr. Lodge finds out what Archie has done. What a great collection. Now, I know you're going to be down there. You have your own comic as well that you've been working on, um, Rise Above, is that right? And you're going to be uh, out there with comics for people to peruse through and pick their favorites. But yes. real quick before you go, what, tell um, us this about is, this This um, is my own foundation. It's called Rise Above Social Issues. Um, as an educator prior to coming into Archie, you know, I want to um, help the children um, navigate, you know, with mm -hmm. important issues. And one of the biggest issues today is about bullying. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you are bullied? And in this message of this comic book is never let anyone define who they want you to be. You don't step in their box, and you try to find that something in you that you feel comfortable with to, you know, follow with that rather than, you know, concentrating on all the angst that bullying may bring you. Love so it. this is my first comic book, and it should be out in about two months.